Hi, Jolting Jonathan with Mad Science of Southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. This week's question. We talked about what happens if I have a yardstick and I were to put my hands apart like this, hold it balancing the yardstick on top. If I were to move my right hand towards my left hand, is that yardstick, is it going to fall to the right? I don't know. Is it going to be pushed by my right hand and fall to the left? Or will somehow my hands meet in the center with the yardstick balanced perfectly on top? Let's find out. So, I take my yardstick, I'm going to hold my hands out like this in a slow motion clap, and I'm going to start to bring my right hand in. Now it's back. Oh, something just happened. It's like that yardstick is sort of trading back and forth what happens. My hands meet in the middle. What I want you guys to notice when I do this again, I'm going to show you. As I hold it right now, the weight is balanced. As I move my hand in, the left hand takes most of the weight. But it's going to get to a certain point where my right hand takes most of the weight and therefore most of the friction. And if you notice, the yardstick stops sliding on my right hand and starts sliding on my left. And then they start trading back and forth. And they meet in the center. To make it a little easier to see, we're going to use a slightly bigger object. We're going to use a metal rod. If I take the metal rod, watch really closely, it'll start to slide on my hands. And this one, because it's a little heavier, it starts trading back and forth where it's sliding. We'll make it even easier to see. I'm going to take this cardboard tube. And then it shifts to my left. And then it shifts to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, left, 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 left. Make it a little easier. A bigger cardboard tube. Mad science style. There we go. So we've got it. And my right hand is sliding, and all of a sudden it's going to start sliding on my left hand. Now what's really fascinating about this is, even if you take something that's not completely balanced, like a baseball bat, the principle stays the same. As one hand takes more of the weight, it will also take more of the friction. With a baseball bat, it's going to be a little different because the center of gravity is not in the middle. So I start to move my right hand in, and the baseball bat slides, and it slides, and then there it starts to go as we find where the center of gravity of the baseball bat is. Right about there. So if you chose that the hands were going to meet in the center, you were correct. Tell you what, next week on Monday, we're going to have another question. We'll have another answer on Friday. Thank you very much.